All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Azoria Skies. That's right, we're going to the skies and we are going to be playing all sorts of flying creatures and getting some bonuses for having flying creatures and being able to hopefully put Safara into play. All right, so what we have going on with this deck. So this was a 5-0 list that I found um, from, I believe, the, the 15th. Uh, is whenever it was posted um this is the, which was basically a week ago oh gosh almost 10 days ago actually but anyway what we have kind of going on here is this is basically mono white aggro where we have a whole lot of one drops and we have our venerate luxodons and our conclave tribunals you know like we're trying to play a lot of a lot of creatures uh convoke these things out and uh we have safaras which which Safara is basically a Convoke spell also. It's basically more copies of Venerate Luxodon. You know, you just need your four flyers, uh, pay your one mana, and then Convoke it into play. So uh, we're basically doing that. Like, Imperion Eagle is like our Benelish Marshal. Favorable Winds is kind of like some more Benelish Marshal action, or, you know, instead of um, Unbreakable Formation, maybe. It's kind of something like that. Uh, and then we have, like, Remorseful Cleric, and to me, like Tamik is like our Adanto, Remorseful Cleric, and Favorable Winds kind of take up the slot that like History Banalia does. This is basically mono white aggro. And so I, I guess because of that, it's probably like, as you can tell by our, our mana base, it's probably a lot easier to have a white source on turn one and then two white sources on turn two than a white source on one and a white plus blue on two, maybe. I mean, I guess that's why we're playing Duskborn Sky Marcher instead of. Um, instead of the Siren Pirate, uh, Siren Pirate. Wow, it's not even a Siren Pirate. What's the card I'm thinking of? Spectral Sailor. There we go. Spirit Pirate. It's a Spirit Pirate. Because Spectral Sailor is a lot better card than Dustborn Sky Marcher. You know, like, basically, this, this ability here is kind of doing nothing, where this, you know, has the pay for draw card. But... The person that, that played this deck played it like this, and I want to keep it the same because I think that we're just trying to get a whole lot of... Uh, I think it's just kind of focusing on having white one-drops. Um, so let's let's try it as is, and we'll kind of see... Like, there's only 11 blue sources in here, so we'll see how easy having, like, one of the 11 blue sources is and everything. Like, this, this is definitely an aggro deck. We're not trying to... We're trying to race our opponents. We're not trying to mess around... Or anything like we're just trying to race our opponents in the air. Um, our sideboard looks pretty generic. We got some fours and a three. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, let's let's give this a try. Let's see. We have sixteen one drops and ten convoke spells to go along with them. So we're gonna need a lot of one drops. A lot of uh, we need a lot of one drops to be able to help play all these things. But yeah, this will be an interesting one to try. I haven't found, like, I think I already just said this, but just in case, I haven't really found a Safara deck that works yet. I haven't found one that I like, so let's give this a try. I think Tanged Executioner may be just kind of too expensive and slow. Oh, yeah, Blast Zone probably, yeah, Blast Zone will probably blow us up. Hey, 619. All right, so I am going to be taking this over to the traditional constructed queue and playing a league with it. Yeah, Sultai Flash was really good. Because, yeah, we played that in Mythic and went 5-0, and it just felt really good. I guess so. This is not really looking like an ideal hand. You never manage to play Safara. Win earlier or just lose, usually. I know, because the similar type of decks that I've either played with Safara or seen other people play, it's usually, or really, I guess it would just be me playing it, um, has usually had like eight one drops and then, like, yeah, had like hanged executioner and stuff and just could never make it work. But I'm hoping.
hoping with having 16 one drops we can make it work so this turn i am going with favorable winds because of goblin chain whirler i don't want to have my one toughness creatures out here in a chain whirler world All right, we could really use not drawing a land ever again. And hopefully we get the... Hopefully we get our lord. Imperion... What's the name of our lord? Imperion Eagle. Yeah, let's get some Imperion Eagles. Or actually, wait. Let's just draw Safara. No, we don't have four flyers. Never mind, not Safara. Imperion Eagle. Hey, Cheerios with Twitch Prime Sub. Let's get some hype in the chat for our new subscriber, and that is sub number nine on the day. Got a nine ball there. Ow. Ow. Hmm. All right, wouldn't mind oh, another Conclave Tribunal. Burning. Wow. We can't have very many lands in this deck, right? How many do we have? 21? And all we're doing is drawing land after land There's with no 21? We kept a three lander. We are not lucky, Hawkeye. I know, what's going on here? It's just all lands. You're a little late, Eagle. Could have used you before. Well, the good news is if we draw Safara, we can actually cast Safara next turn. The bad news is we'll be dead from Chandra's ultimate, so we need to. Yeah. Well, we can't really beat that card anyway. We need to draw a Conclave Tribunal first. Uh. Man. I don't think I play it. I don't think I show it to my opponent. Because showing it to the opponent means that they will be more likely to try to kill all my flyers. Alright, Drake. Gust. Baffling End. Cleric out. Hmm. Chain Whirler is just going to be a problem. Do I even want Baffling End? Yeah, I probably do. Maybe not. Nah, with Drake and Gust. Nah, we don't need Baffling End also. It's just All these cards just cost two that we're bringing in. Just want to cut my two drops. I know that I know that that Sky Marcher, Pegasus, these things can definitely die. I just want to cut my two drops. I want to keep my curve kind of the same. Yeah, Safara has Life Link. Yes, we were we were dead to them just ultimating Chandra though. Last game. Alright, we'll take out two Pegasus. I don't see anything else I really want to take out. Like, this is kind of a matchup to take out Safara, probably. Well... <clears throat> The way to say it is, this is going to be tough to actually play Safara because they're going to be killing my creatures. Hey, what's up? The God of Toast with the sub. Like, they're going to be killing my creatures, so it's going to be hard to get Safara in play. But with that being said, if we ever do get Safara in play, Safara, like, just completely takes over.
that's our 10th sub of the day. That's a sub goal. We're going to mark that down towards the next sub battle. Or sorry, <laughs> towards our next 12 hour stream. Um, debating whether or not to keep the Ether Gust up. They're probably playing two drop creature here. All right, cool. Man, if we just draw a flyer, a one mana flyer or a two mana flyer, just draw a flyer, we can go flyer Safara. No, don't kill my flyers. What are you doing? Don't touch them. No, no, no. Don't kill any of my flyers. I like them. Boo. Yeah, King J, I like that one. I like that deck. That looks pretty nice. All right, so I'm going to be gusting the Runaway Steamkin. <laughs> well, this deck only has flyers and four elephants, the least aerodynamic animal on the planet. <laughs> We don't, yeah, we didn't have a, we don't have a white white flyer in the deck, right now, because we took him out for the Sir Yulin Drakes. <laughs> this is Dumbo. There you go. There you go. Yeah, this is Dumbo. This is the story of Dumbo. I like it. Mm. All right, all right. I'll, I'll trim one Safara. Get another one drop in here. Why not baffling end? Because I. I don't, basically I'm bringing in a lot of other spells already with the, I guess really just the other, the, I already have like the, the blue spell, whatever it's called. What are these hands? We're a 21 land deck. I'm already bringing in the, the blue spell and so I just don't want to have too many spells. I want to still have a whole bunch of flyers and everything to make my convoke stuff good. Pretty. Come on. 
now we're just gonna flood out. Blech. If we would have had a blue source there, I would have been keeping the enchantment, but it's, we just didn't. It's just not guaranteed. Yeah, this is my first time playing this deck. Uh, the link, just a little bit above you, ear. Right there, all the decklists I play on stream are stored in this convenient location, and there's a link. Go there, that's where you can find the decklist. Hey, thanks, and thanks for the sub there, ear. You were awesome, thank you so much. If you miss that deck, or if you miss that link, you can find it there too. Decks. We do have the four Sir Ulan Drakes in here. That is true. So, like, maybe we draw some Sir Ulan Drakes. We do have four of those. Wow, so they'd rather kill the 2 3 than the 2 2 with lifelink. Could be because they, they may have shocks. It's possible. And, you know, they have to use the, the lightning strike there, so they probably have a shock. Well, it's unfortunate that we flooded out two of our three games. You know, mold a five, draw a bunch of lands. This is really unfortunate. We are, we are one land and then a Safaro away from super stabilizing, though. Yeah, I could see this deck going to like going down to 20, 19 lands. I, I could definitely see that. There's nothing that I have that stabilizes me from here. All right, well, two flood outs. That one in particular was bad because then we we started with five cards, and then had six lands. That's just not a way that our deck's going to be winning. <laughs> yeah, game one we had seven lands. Game two we had six lands. You know, we hit our seventh land drop, game one, game two, six land drop. With a 21 land deck, that shouldn't be happening. But it happened. All right. Oh, uh, no, nah, actually, we can't really keep this with all convoke stuff. I will be keeping this. Yeah, Sailor's a better card than Sky Marcher, for sure. This deck was kinda is kinda built on just like the mono white philosophy. Growth Chamber Guardian. Ugh. 
would have been a really good time just to draw any one drop. So we could just go one drop Luxodon instead of just Luxodon. You don't have Vigilance, do you? No. We got 16 one drops in here. Where are they at? So rude. So I was thinking that I was going to be able to race him, you know, just getting the attack in and everything there. All right, I'm just going to make them spend their mana, you know, make them tap out. Some more elephant action going on here. So yeah, what if we cut two lands and play two more one drops? One drop flyers, you know, two of the blue ones. Just like the worst possible draw. I mean, another Safari would have been bad. Well, they could also, if we get, if we get Safari in play, they could have, like, Unsummon or the Trickster or something. That Trickster killed us. I mean, if I, if I just sit back here, I'm just, like, chump locking and stuff. Like, this is over. Would have drawn another a Lord effect, you know, Imperial and Eagle, a favorable win, something. But we need to not have six lands. It's just, like, the worst number of lands to have. It doesn't cast Safara. All right, we're 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 just cutting a land. That's what we're doing. Let's just let's cut a land. It's got all these fairies in here. Trim one Tajik, one remorseful cleric. Unfavorable wins. No, Luxodon's awesome. You need to be able to, like, double spell. You need to be able to play as many spells as possible in one turn against against this kind of deck, and Luxodon helps you with that. 
What is the deal with this? All right, we'll put a tri tribunal back. I mean, we could put Safara back. Then we have to draw two flyers and have both those flyers resolve before we even be able to play it. Yeah, I guess we put Safara back. Yeah, I don't know how it's always just so many lands and no one drops. 20 lands, 16 one drops, and it's just always like six lands and like two one drops. All right, Rackle Guru. Have a good one. No more lands. So obviously Trickster would just kill the Falcon, but we can't just like sit back and be scared and not attack into Trickster. You have got to be kidding me. It's just always drawing lands. Like, I feel bad for this deck. So I was thinking Scatter, how they bounced the Tamik. I thought they were going to have Scatter, which is why I didn't replay the Tamik. Syncopate was obviously a, a horrible card for us to see. So four draw steps, four lands. We have 20 in the deck. We're four for four on drawing lands. I can do that math of what are the odds of, of drawing four lands in a row. So we know we scried a spell to the bottom. So there's 53 other cards. And we knew 18 of the 53 were lands. So just drawing our first land is 34%. Drawing two lands in a row is 11%. Drawing three lands in a row was 3.5%. And drawing four lands in a row was 1% chance.
That was one point one percent chance. To be exact. Well, that's also not exact, it's a lot more decimals. If I attack out, then one unsummon. Kills both Luxodons. They just unsummon a Luxodon. They kill my thing. insane. All right, so I guess I'll cut another land on the draw here. Maybe play a baffling end. Either counter Baby Teferi or attacked it. It wasn't a problem. This is what we did with this Sultai deck. By the time they were playing it on turn three, we usually had multiple creatures in play. And Teferi can't bounce multiple creatures. Or we, just had a, or we had our one creature in counter spell. I wouldn't go to 19 on the play, but I'm going to go ahead and do that on the draw here. Uh, this is a weird hand. Alright. We're definitely not drawing any more lands now, right, deck?
Hmm. We can still double spell next turn with like Sky Marcher and Eagle or Sky Marcher to Fairy, you know, like all that kind of stuff. All right, there's only 14 lands left. We'll see if we draw any more. Hopefully not. All right, so I could go Little Teferi, Bounce, Cutthroat. I kind of want to do that, even though Little Teferi dies to the Frilled Mystic. It's either that or play Eagle. Now nah, we're playing Eagle. And we we got to draw something to play here. We can't. We can't afford a land. There's two things that we can't. And also we like them having. If they have unsummon slash. Uh. Trickster. Un summoner Trickster. That's going to be real trouble for us. I can no longer stand by and watch. Don't worry. I got this. So I'm going to keep the two loyal Pegasuses here because if they, like, we can double block with the Pegasus, and then if they unsummon one that still kills the Frilled Mystic, 
Um, or if they, you know, unsummon the eagle, still kills. I guess you know, trade with both of them, but. I would still rather trade with. I think I'd rather trade with the two Pegasuses than the two Sky Marcher because these Pegasuses are kind of crappy. They don't get to attack or block alone. They're, they're kind of crappy. All right, cool. I guess this they forgot that they can't play anything. Be a bad idea. Yeah, if they unsummon first, we have no blocker, but that's fine. Yeah, you know, like the we can take three. We're not dead. I mean, they would kill the Teferi, I guess, probably, but. Wow, we won that. Ugh, we actually won that. The flying draft commons. Let's go. <laughs> Ugh. Let's go flying draft commons. <clears throat> yeah, I know people in chat are saying that if they would have hasted the ceratops, they had lethal. I'm not, I don't, I don't honestly, like I just don't remember what, what the board state was and everything. I, I believe y'all that was probably the case. I, I don't want to say it because I don't, I just don't. I just don't know, but it's very possible that a hasted ceratops would have been lethal. I'm not. I don't remember. Keep a three lander. There's no way you just draw another land immediately, right? It's like a 30% chance. That means you're not going to. Maybe like a 35% chance. You're definitely not going to just draw another land. Oh, wait. I forgot. This league, all we do is draw lands. Dun, dun, dun. All right, elephant, get on the back of these flyers. Let's go, Dumbo. Uh, I had a, I had a creature to jump. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Trust me, I have a plan. Bounce the Venerate Luxodon. Got time. I want to see less less lands over here being drawn. That's what I would prefer. All right, Hawkeye, let's draw less lands than what we're currently drawing. Well, it's not a land. Yeah, our opponent's playing scape shift here. We 
we just got to hit him for seven in the air and then hope one of these elephants connects. Yeah, I'm not killing Teferi because I'd rather kill my opponent. That Teferi is not doing anything relevant. Here goes nothing. Before I would have lethal. No, never mind. Unless they have. I guess they have instant speed scape shift here. Another flyer came too late. All right, so they have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six two twos. Plus this one is seven, so it's only fourteen power. They're not killing us. Do I want to trade elephants for multiple two twos? The answer is yes. You know, force them to have it anyway. But, yep, they do. Force them to use it here. So they'll have seven, seven two twos, which doesn't kill me before these flyers kill them next turn. We'll go Sky Marcher, Tribunal, the Teferi now, because the Teferi would be able to bounce. Oh, right, Blast Zone. Oh, I forgot about how we can't ever be Blast Zone. Good turn, good turn five. Because they would have had the six mana on this turn because the rejuvenator. They needed they needed the grow spiral plus scape shift to be able to do that. Six mana wasn't going to be enough. I'm I'm dead. Because of this card. Why does this thing have two charge counters on it? That didn't go according to plan. Now it has one? Why couldn't it have two? I want it to have two. Why did it have two? Now it has one. What is this? We need to draw a creatures we control gain indestructible card. Darn, we didn't do that. I really need to blow a blast zone on their turn. Because I could draw unbreakable formation and they would have just lost. There's just there's no reason to wait with the blast zone. Whenever like your opponent's tapped out, just just play your card. There's just not a reason to wait because they're dead to like the flyers attacking them. All right, we drew six lands yet again. Let's go ahead and just cut lands. I'm so sick of drawing six lands every game. I don't really want any of these cards, though. I guess I guess Ether Gust. Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, I guess we'll play Ether Gust. We'll do that. I don't want these tribunals. Get those things out of here. All right, on the play, we'll go twenty. The scape shift on our turn wasn't really that important. I don't regret not attacking. Teferi. I think that not attacking Teferi is the way to go to try to kill them as soon as we could. Hey, what's up, DZ? 
top magic channel hype. 1186 people in here. You you are all absolutely amazing. Get him, Hawk. Got to build your own <laughs> Boreal Razor. It's rude. Build your own Delver of Secrets. Yeah, absolutely. Omri um, 2, go ahead. Oh, it feels really good, 3 man. Really good. <laughs> yep, that's what I said, Black Black Yeti. You are amazing. I'm sure I could gain a life by attacking. We're not going to lose this game because we have 21 life. Let's or we have 20 life instead down. of 21. Let's try this. Come on, draw creatures. Creatures. Alright, creature. Alright, what do you do? Lands can't be the target of spells or abilities. Right, I don't think that's going to really matter. Here we go. I'll have to look for this pay, the pay button that you're talking about. Nope. Good chance here they could have some zombies. They would need Grow Spiral again. And of course they have Grow Spiral. They have Escape Shift also, just the perfects. Why not? When you're running perfect, you're running perfect. So they get Blast Zone, they win the race now. I mean, if it wasn't for Blast Zone, like, we would, we would win this if it wasn't for Blast Zone. Still have this, still have this covered. It's just Blast Zone. So this definitely feels like this deck needs something to deal with Blast Zone. <clears throat> or... Ethereum, why do you think the opponent should sacrifice the field of the dead? Like why why are you doing frowny face that they're not sacrificing their field? Cuz I wouldn't be sacrificing field in their scenar in their steps. Oh, cuz oh you get you get one extra zombie cuz of the the new field that enters. done the hero thing before but then you you lose the ability to have one of your fields in your deck to get the one extra zombie that's lethal they can bounce the to the to mink i mean I, I, if i attack if i attack to fairy to make sure they can't bounce to mink it's still lethal because the pegasus can't block if it's a challenge you want then a challenge you'll get. Yeah, that was definitely a tough luck league.
certainly a tough luck league. So, um, 16 did not seem like enough one drops, honestly. Like, even for Safara, like, we, you know, like, think of those games. When did we ever have four flyers in play? Basically never. We, like, 21 lands. I would, you know, just, like, look, just hearing, you know, if you tell me there's 21 lands in this deck, I'm like, all right, that sounds like a, a number of lands to have in a deck. That sounds perfectly reasonable. But, man, we just had six lands every single game. Like, there wasn't a game that we didn't have, like, five to seven lands. Um, like, how many lands did we have that last game? And I, you know, I cut lands. You think Luxodon and Conclave make the deck slow? Maybe. I don't really know if Luxodon was a problem. Or Conclave. We didn't have enough early things, it felt like. It did kind of feel like we need... Like, I'd rather have 19 lands and, like, two Safaras and then like two more and then like four more one drops I don't think I really like remorseful cleric either I think I would want like no remorseful cleric no safara and get rid of an island the blue mana was not a problem and like a I guess maybe if we maybe I can't get rid of an island though yeah, actually, let's let's get Island back. What does this give us? Nineteen land, and then we get some pirates in here. Um, maybe just the 20 flyers and then uh, yeah yeah I do like rally of wings I do think this is better than favorable wins I think I would like rally of wings maybe it's not better maybe like a 2-2 two -two split Yeah, get more creatures. I guess Tamik as a four of probably shouldn't be the case. Just have only Rally Wings and Favorable Wings and no Luxodons. I could actually, I could see that. Actually, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Because the thing is, is I want like, I like, I like having like 12 pump effects, you know, like 11, 12 pump effects. I don't want, um, maybe an unbreakable formation over a, one of these. No, unbreakable formation is lame. I could definitely see that. I want, you know, I, I, we need like a good amount of pump effects. We can't just have, you know, we can't have just like eight. Like if we cut Lux, if you cut Luxodon, you can't really have eight. So 
Supreme Phantom for just Spectral Sailor. All right, probably the first Remorseful Cleric's better than the fourth Tamik. I don't, I don't know if like this is, I don't know if I'd really be that into like Winged Words, Curious Obsession, or even God's Willing. I think this is basically like mono white aggro. We were just trying to be really fast. I just wanted more, more one drops than what we had. Like we're, we're trying to end games real quickly. I don't think I want to be sitting around like drawing cards every turn or anything like that, or having like just having. <clears throat> Uh, like, God's willing. If we just have, like, a whole bunch of one-mana one, one mana cards, we don't really need God's willing. I'm still, I'm not sold on Safari at all yet, still. You know, like, that was something that... That was, like, the main reason why I wanted to play the deck, because I wanted to um, see if... See how, like, Safari was. Because uh, we hadn't... You know, hadn't really found, like, a Safari deck that works too well yet. So I wanted to, to try them out. And yeah, there, there, there could be another one drop that's better than like Sky Marcher or Falcon. Maybe there's another blue one, um, and you know maybe maybe switch this up to be a more blue white split and less to meek. To be honest, but um, basically, basically I think we just want so many more one drops. Cyborg, Cyborg was okay, honestly. It was. That's how I would call it. It's basically okay. I actually didn't didn't really mind. I mean, I actually kind of think that Sir Sir and Drakes are actually really valuable when you're pumping up the power um, and not just keeping it a one one. I do think this card's a lot better than like I'd want to play in just a normal blue deck. No, I don't want Defiant Strikes or any spells like that. I don't don't want any spells that are any like pump spell kind of things besides rally of wings this is just the only one because this one is just so incredibly powerful you know not only not only giving all your flyers plus two plus two but also that untap effect it just it does kind of everything <clears throat> there um hanged executioner instead of conclave tribunal I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I didn't really like the Conclave Tribunals too much. I would rather have Conclave Tribunal than Baffling End in the sideboard than I I think. I could that may be an incorrect statement. Hanged Executioner just costs so much mana. Three mana. So I don't know. Uh, I would have to, you know, like go through it and look at all the cards and everything, and and uh, really <clears throat> see. Uh, no, I would not play Depose Deploy at all. That four mana is way too much. That's no, I want to play that. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, there's Azorius guys. Um, so we saw like the the version that we that we played there definitely saw some some holes with it and it really felt like 21 was way too much mana uh we'll have to go to the drawing board if we want to try to redo this thing but there we go um so i hope you learned stuff here from the video hope you enjoyed it if you're watching it later on youtube don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there hawkeye thinks that like my hand motions up here and everything are are like me trying to play with him there here eat some Put some chapstick on or something. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching Azorius Guys here, and I will see you for the next video.